it was hard to take electronic music out live. Um, it's, now it's you know it's, it's acceptable, uh, especially with the advent of like festivals. Uh, you know, and you, and you mix electronic music with rock, and you know you, you'll you'll see on the on the same stage. We've been playing live for such a long time. We, we started off and it was very fixed how it had to be because it's very scary taking all the electronic equipment on stage. You know, things might go wrong. And, but we've worked out a way now where we can, it's pretty much as live as you can get it now, you know, such that we, we can literally, I mean, we don't even know now what, we, what set we're going to play tonight. We will decide before we go on stage. You choose the material more carefully. You, what, what you play live um, has to be picked very carefully from what you've done before, and sometimes adapted slightly, because um, playing live doesn't, in this sort of environment, doesn't really allow you to um, be too intricate, too too clever about it. The essential difference with electronic and dance music is that. Um, Underground and overground commercial music exists at the very at the same time, and that's almost that's quite unique, I think, um, uh, as opposed to rock music, which tends to just either be one thing or the other. I mean, dance music exists in all forms and can be, you know, it can be number one in the charts, and it can also be the most fashionable thing in the underground circuit at the same time. Right.